be discussing our project, the Eco House, which is across a plot area of 33 cents, located right here in the Kartipadi locality of Kottem in Kerala. My name is architect Amrita Kishore from Kerala. Before I start, please note that you can download the full PDF ebook of this house with detailed floor plans, photographs, and a fact file from buildify.com. And the link is mentioned in the description below. The eco house at Kotim is tailor made to suit the lifestyle preferences of a family of four. Built to accommodate modern amenities, the design of the house was conceived considering what the space would feel like to an end user. Being ecologically conscious, the clients wanted a home which responds to Cotem's hot and humid climate. Numerous passive cooling strategies have been implemented to match the home's tropical surroundings. The Eco House is located at the dead end of a road on a hill in Cotem. The hill was excavated by the previous landowner, which disturbed the local ecosystem of the site. The home brings some relief to the wounded topography as it yawns in to invite the surrounding landscape. The top edge of the hill protects the house, which is tucked in its lap from the harsh rays of southern sun. Being located around 700 meters from the main road, the site has a certain amount of privacy as it is. The tall escarpment enhances this and further offers the house its own vertical garden. The site takes a breath of fresh air with the wind gushing in from a large basin of an open field in the western end, which also provides the household with a great view. Critical regionalism is a philosophy that preserves local architectural identity, retaining its functional features and meeting global standards. With white walls and mangalore tile sloping roofs, with proportions inspired from the old palaces of Travancore, the Eco House uploads the character of traditional Kerala architecture. The spaces in the Eco House have been separated into public spaces at the east end and private spaces at the west, with semi-public spaces in the middle. The main entrance of the Eco House opens into a lobby courtyard. To the east, we have a living room for guests and prayer corner. Moving west, beyond a corridor into the house from the garage, we have the heart of the home, the living come dining hall. The spacious main hall opens out into a large wooden deck, which breaks the hierarchy of clear distinction between indoor and outdoor spaces. The deck also brings in calming wind. With a dedicated inbuilt audio system, this space is ideal to host a party. Coupled with snug furniture, the well-lit spaces of the Eco House creates a warm atmosphere for its visitors. An ideal space to enjoy the good things in life with good people. It promotes a hugu way of life. Apart from the windows bringing in the soothing green from the outdoors, there is a potted plant at every view indoors, which emphasizes the earthly palette of the wood in the furniture, the exposed bricks and the eaves of the trust roof. The neat wood finished staircase is constructed with a metal stringer beam to give the space a greater sense of volume. A double height display rack adjacent to the stair, which is visible from both floors, allows the client to exhibit their favorite possessions without creating clutter. A sunkissed corner on the first floor is turned into a library and reading space with a chic wing chair, a voluminous bookshelf, and wall decor all creating a vibrant yet cozy atmosphere. The carefully chosen furniture and art pieces ties up perfectly the sense of craft and culture with their bold colors against the muted white walls. The Eco House has four bedrooms with attached baths and dressing areas. With all the wardrobes going up to ceiling height, each of the bedrooms have ample storage space. Each bathroom has a distinct theme with their clean white lines and strips of painted Atangri tiles with elegant pendant lamps all accenting a charming mood. The kitchen has its own very private courtyard which ensures good lighting and ventilation at all times and creates a mesmerizing effect 
when it's curtained by the showers of monsoon. Like the bedrooms, the storage space in the kitchen has also been optimized. The inbuilt ovens and fridge gives the space a tidy feel. The eco house is built with burnt clay bricks. The limited amount of concrete used for walls makes it thermally efficient. There are no false ceilings in this house. Locally sourced wood has been used to create the windows and furniture. Some of the pieces of furniture have been manufactured on site. The roofs of the structure are made of concrete. Most of the roof is covered with trusses with Mangalore tiles overhead. This creates room for airflow above the concrete roof, providing effective insulation against the heat. Good daylighting is one of the prime features of the Eco House. Its well distributed plan ensures that there is not a single dull corner in this home. The light that comes in is reflected off the white walls, making the space pleasant and bright. Although there are plenty of windows, the protruding sunshades in the Eco House allow only indirect sunlight to come in, minimizing solar heat gain. Another feature of the Eco House is that it doesn't require air conditioning. Designed to have great cross ventilation, the Eco House cools itself. With a greater floor to heat ceiling height than most homes, the spacious rooms don't feel stuffy at all. The wind tower and exhaust for hot air above the central staircase allows hot air rising to escape. The Eco House also promotes a sustainable lifestyle. With a dedicated area for fruit trees and well on site, the clients have the facility to grow the food they consume. Food waste from the site is put into a compost pit. This is later used as fertilizer for the plants. Only local species are used for landscaping. Easy to grow and maintain, they require no pesticides and facilitate the recharge of groundwater. The limited number of pavers also contribute to the same. Rainwater is harvested on site and reused for irrigation. A solar water heater is used for the home's hot water requirements. At Elementary, we believe in designing spaces that respond to the climate of the region. Our primary aim is to create spaces that would feel good to an end user. The Eco House at Kortem, Kerala, which you have just viewed, is an example of the same. I hope you enjoyed watching this video on our project. In case you have any questions, please post them below in the comments tab. I'd be happy to respond in person as much as possible. Thank you and have a good day.